Welcome to the character spotlight of Moon Knight. In this video, we're going to get you ready for the up and coming Moon Knight series. We're going to talk about the character, his background, and give you some books associated with Mark Spector and Moon Knight. Mark Spector was a former Marine, CIA operative, who later becomes a mercenary and even later than that becomes a vigilante with the sole mission to protect those who travel at night with the powers granted to him by Khonshu, the Egyptian god of the moon. In earlier appearances of Moon Knight, he is aided by his colleagues Frenchy and Marlene, who becomes the love of his life and later on the mother of his daughter. Spectre suffers from dissociative identity disorder and multiple personality disorder, which plays a major factor in his stories and in his character. He also has alter egos, a billionaire businessman named Stephen Grant, a New York City taxi driver named Jake Lockley, a consultant named Mr. Moon Knight, as he uses all these identities to gain information from different social circles of life to fight crime. Moon Knight was created by Doug Manch and illustrated by Gil Kane in August of 1975. His first appearance was in Werewolf by Night number 32, where he battled Jack Russell's werewolf and later became allies. His second appearance, Werewolf by Night number 33, September 1975, written by Doug Manch, illustrated by Gil Kane. Another book to be on the lookout for if you can't afford that first appearance. They always say go to the second appearance, the origins, and the cover appearances. Next up, Defects, another important Moon Knight book. We got Marvel Spotlight number 28 of June in 1976, written by Doug Manch, illustrated by Don Perlin. In this issue, we get the first solo story of Moon Knight and the first appearance of Marlene, who we talked about being the love interest and mother of Mark Spector's daughter. Rolling on through Defects, we have Moon Knight number one, written by Guess Who, Doug Manch, and illustrated by the legend Bill Sienkiewicz of November of 1980. In this issue, we get the first ongoing series of Moon Knight, we get the origin of Moon Knight, we get the first appearance of Bushmaster, who plays a major role in the whole history with Moon Knight, and we get the first appearance of the Egyptian moon god Khonshu, who we previously talked about. In this origin issue, Mark Spector was mortally wounded by Bushmen during a job in Sudan. Spector found himself drawn to an ancient tomb where he discovered the statue of the Egyptian moon god Khonshu. In that tomb, Spector died and was suddenly revived and healed of all his wounds. He claims Khonshu brought him back to life to be the moon's knight. Hence, Moon Knight. Here we have Moon Knight number one, June in 1985, written by Alan Zelnitz, illustrated by Chris Warner. In this issue, Moon Knight gets his new costume and new powers. Defects. Here we get another example of one of Mark Spector's different identities. Moon Knight number one from May of 2014. Written by Warren Ellis and illustrated by Declan Shalvey. In this issue, Mark Spector becomes Mr. Knight. We've all seen that leak from Empire Magazine that shows Mr. Knight in the same exact uniform, so we know he's going to appear in the Disney Plus show. A word from our sponsors. First up, we have our buddy Erod212 with Express Comic Book Pressing for all your pressing and cleaning needs. Defects 10 gets you 10% off. Not only that, Erod is nice enough to pass along his discount from CGC and CBCS, so tell Erod the defects sent you. Next up, everybody's favorite beaver, Mutant Beaver Comics, one of the world's largest online exclusive retailer for comic books. Defects 10 gets you 10% off, as we always say. Tell Pat and the B Man the defects sent you. You knew it wouldn't be a pressable defects video without a couple of spec books thrown in here. These are characters we're hoping to see meet at some point in the MCU, and I think that we will. First up, we have Punisher Annual Number 2 from February of 1989, written by Mike Barron and illustrated by Bill Renhold. It is the first meetup and battle between the Punisher and Moon Knight. 
throughout the history of comics, guys. Punisher, Daredevil, Moon Knight, they all meet up several times. This is their first appearance in a comic book together. You see it right there, Moon Knight, Punisher, and then you see it here, the handshake. Hey, how you doing? About time we met. A great book to have, guys. A book that a lot of people know about at this point, but a book you could still find in back bins. Speaking of meetings defects, we have Mark Spector, Moon Knight, number 25 from April in 1991. Good old fashioned 90s comics with 90s art on the cover. Written by Howard Mackey and illustrated by the man, Mark Bagley. We get the first team up of Moon Knight and Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider heavily, heavily specced to be popping up somewhere in the MCU at some point. Listen, if they were to bring Punisher and Ghost Rider into this Moon Knight series or some way hint at it, I think it's going to be a home run. It's all 90s characters we all grew up with. The nostalgia would be crazy. Another book, Dollar Bins, guys. Check them. All right, we got some Matty Forge spec here, so get your pens and paper ready. We have Mark Spector, Moon Knight, number 35, from February in 1992. Written by Terry Cavanaugh and illustrated by Ron Garney, we get the first appearance of Randall Spector, the brother of Mark Spector. A lot of people make the mistake. This character was impersonated by Hatchet Man in In Hulk number 17, so don't be fooled, guys. This is the first appearance of Randall Spector, and we're going to get into another book that I think is going to be even more valuable this than this if Randall shows up. Right into it, Mark Spector, Moon Knight number 36, March of 1992. Again, we have Terry Carbonell writing it and Ron Garney on the art. This is going to be the first appearance of Shadow Knight. Who is Shadow Knight? It is Randall Spector. We know the MCU likes to dig into families. I'm not saying he's going to show up the first season, but if Moon Knight is a su success, we know we may see this character pop up. Books. 35 36 that you could find in your back bins and that 36 cover punisher how could you say no last but not least a book that i love moon knight number 194 from april of 2018 written by max bemis and illustrated by becky clunan you get another origin story of mark specter in here but it is the origin of his childhood mostly the childhood traumatic event that triggered his mental health issues. In this issue, we get a young Mark Spector who has a family friend known as Rabbi Yitz, who he considers an uncle and family friend. Rabbi Yitz was in the war with his grandfather and good friends with Mark's father. He stumbles upon Rabbi Yitz in the basement of a synagogue torturing human bodies and it's later revealed that Rabbi Yitz is actually a hidden Nazi spy named Ernest. Ernest starts torturing these bodies in front of the young Mark Spector who narrowly escapes with his life. It's safe to say this traumatic event that happened to young Mark definitely played a huge role in his mental health. Defects, I hoped you liked the Moon Knight character spotlight. We only scratched the surface with books here. Do yourself a favor before the Moon Knight series comes out. Read the books. Grab the omnibus. Let us know in the comments what you think what books to grab. Before you head out of here, make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we'll catch you on the next Character Spotlight.